Hello and welcome to the Odroid HC2 Getting Started Guide. The first thing we are going to do is set up the SD card. There's going to be a, a link in the description that's going to send you to SourceForge where you can download the Open Media Vault image. And today we're going to be using Windows 32 Disk Imager to write to the SD card, but you can also use Etcher. We just find that it's faster using Windows 32. So next up for assembling the HC2, we are going to take and plug the hard drive into these connector pins. We're also going to take the micro SD and slot that in. And there are several holes that we can use to screw it and secure it into place. Next up, we're going to plug in our ethernet cable as well as our power cable. To verify that the board is working, there are three LEDs that we need to look for. There is a blue heartbeat light that indicates that the OS is working, that there is a red light that indicates power, and that there is a green light that indicates disk activity. Now to configure Open Media Vault, I will do it, be doing that in Windows and in the Chrome browser, but you can use your preferred choice of browser and in order to access Open Media Vault, we are going to be doing that by typing in the IP address of the HC2. And in order to find that, Hard Kernel recommends this program called Angry IP Scanner. This program is fairly basic, and what it does is scan your router between IP addresses so you can find devices on your network. And here I've gone ahead and found the IP address of my HC2. If we go to the browser and go to the uh, IP address where you'll find the login page and the default username is admin and the password is open media vault if you've done this properly you should be able to go into general settings and change the password to something a bit more uh, secure so now we're going to click on physical disks and we can see that the HDD is plugged in. So then we're going to go over to file systems and we are going to create and select a device and then select the hard drive that we plugged in and go ahead and give that a label called the HC2. Gonna close that. And now that we have this here, we're going to mount it. And we can see that it has successfully mounted. And like with everything else, apply the changes. Now we are going to go down to our access rights management tab and click on shared folders. We're going to add a shared folder and we'll call this HC2. We're going to select a device. Now uh, we're going to save it. Now that we have a shared folder, we're going to uh, want to be able to access it across the network. So we're going to head over to the SMB CIFS tab, and this is through Windows. Um, so we're going to go ahead and enable it and save and apply changes. Next up, we're gonna go over to shares and add a share. And we're going to go ahead and select the AC2 and save it. Finally, we're going to go over to user and add a new user. We're going to call this a Meridroid and give it a simple password. Okay, click save and apply. All right, so now we're going to highlight this user and access the privileges of read and write and go ahead and save that. And of course apply. And this should be everything to set up our HC2. 
Now in order to see if this works, we are going to go to this PC, right click and add a network location. And we're going to go ahead and browse our network for the HC2. Great, and now we have access to the HC2. And, and now we have it on our network.